It was very nice to be back at home, just sitting quietly in the garden, thinking hard. My brain was bulging with all the new stuff I had learned at Cambridge. One evening, I was sitting in the orchard under an apple tree, thinking about things. Then, boom, something whacked me on the head. Now, what was that? An apple had fallen off the tree. Now, that set me thinking. No, not about apples. Why do things fall down? Hmm? Have you ever stopped to ask yourself why? Hmm? No, well, maybe not. Well, I have. You see, I love questions like that. Why did it fall down, this apple, and not float or, or fall up? Look, what if everything isn't falling? What if something invisible is pulling it down? Dad is playing the lute again. He is brilliant at music. Always writing songs and whistling tunes. It drives my mad! Mind you, she's uh, generally a little bit grumpy at the moment. Hey, look at me, little Galileo! Oh, I'm so sweet! <laughs> I am the first baby in this house. There will be six more after me. None of them interesting. <laughs> what a squash! Ciao, Mama. Perhaps that's why I was bundled off at 15 years old to live in the nearby monastery. Actually, Dad knew I was a clever and wanted me to learn, and the monks who lived there taught me Latin and maths and all about God. So, who was on board our ship, the Beagle? Well, there was the captain, of course, and the sailors. And then there was an artist. We didn't have cameras then, so his job was to make pictures of everything we saw. As the naturalist, my job was to make notes about all the animals we found. I collected insects, I stuffed animals, found bones and fossils and interesting rocks, and wrote a diary, which you can still read today. The Voyage of the Beagle. Whenever I could, I sent boxes of the stuff I found back to England. 